Hey guys and welcome back. This is how to create drill down map like this. So we go, we select a state and then we drill down. We look at the different counties. Then we drill down again and see the different cities in that county. So how do you do that without ever uploading a KML file that has all the coordinates in it? This is just using the clicks inbuilt function. Pretty cool, right? Yep. Let's have a look. All you need is one file which has your country, the name, states, counties, and your city name. That's about it. Let's have a look at how to do that. So I'm going to load a file and what this file essentially has is it's the US cities, states and counties. So it's just a text file that has the information that I need. That is, it tells me what is the city, which state does it belong to or which county does it belong to and which state does that county belong to. Right. All right. Let me just make some changes here because it looks like uh, it looks a bit weird so it's, a, it's the pipe that is the separator here so i'm gonna use that and now it recognizes it good and it's got embedded field name so now i see that the city is this which state does that belong to and which county does the city belong to good i'm just gonna insert it so this is essentially what i need as you can see here there is no latitude and longitude there is no point area map i'm just gonna load and i'm gonna go to the front end but, um, let's close this let's go to a chart let's drag and drop a map now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a master measure and that's a drill down measure you guys know how to do it to go deeper into it check out the links in the description below check out the course you go into creating some really cool map features i'm gonna say i want my city then i want my county and then i want my state i choose these three it has to be from top down that is the biggest on top that is the state next comes the county next comes the city i'm just going to say region create it good now you see that it's created here click on the map we have different layers that we can add first layer is the top layer that is going to be my states right so i'm going to say i want this as a area layer i'm going to add it i'm going to say region drill that is what I just created. It's pretty cool. So if you see here now, click automatically recognizes the, from the name. So it sees that the top name is nothing but my states, right? So it sees the states and it says, ah, oh, you know what? This state actually belongs in the US. So click has already got all the information except for, I think it gets a little bit confused over here. We'll fix it. Okay. Don't worry. And it also happens with cities. For example, if the city name is common in different countries, sometimes it just pops up in random places and you're like what the hell the city is supposed to be in the us why is it showing up somewhere in the middle of france because yeah there's an easy fix right so let's go into region drill down this is going to be my top layer right go in here and i'm going to go into my location what is the location i won't click to automatically recognize it in this case it is the state and click already has a list of states names so i'm just going to say hey look at my state name here that is the location field. That's what actually Click is going to use to bring in the coordinates that it already has. Switch off this automatic scoping. And here I'm going to say this location type is administrative area level one. And which country is it? Well, the country is US. I'm just going to write US here. Before we had a small little pop up over here. Now that's fixed. So now Click essentially knows that, okay. All these states should be in the US and it looks at the name and it creates the map that it already has. And now I'm going to go into colors, just going to make this by dimension. So it makes it easier for us to see. Then let's go into options here. Let's show the label. Then we're going to go into show layer and visible drill down levels, right? Uh, I'm going to turn down this. The layers are state, county, city, but in this top layer, I only want it to show my states so this is the state one so i'm gonna turn off the other two and we're going to repeat this process for the next step so that is when a user selects a state we want it to drill down to the next version right now when i click on wisconsin nothing really happens what we need to do is we got to go to edit again we're going to add another layer so we're going to say add layer add an area layer again what is the dimension the dimension is again the same region drill down go into my location again well i want it to be county I'm going to turn off the scope for locations and here I'm going to say this location type is the next administrative area that is the level two. I'm going to tell click that, hey, this is US. So stop popping up areas in different parts of the world. And over here, what was the area level one? So what was our first layer? That was the state, right? So here I'm going to say that the area level one was state. Go into colors by dimension again. 
go into options show label visible drill down regions you're going to turn this one off and for this it is your county now we're going to go back right whenever you create a new layer it always goes on top so i'm just going to add my previous one on top good let's say edit and let's see if it's working i've got nebraska here we click on nebraska and now we go in perfect that's exactly what we want if i click on this i don't see the cities now i want to add my cities right so that's the last layer so i'm going to say add layer again and let's use a point layer this time because it's just cities so i'm going to use a point layer add what is our dimension it's again the same region drill down and now you see <laughs> look at this like you see it popping up in different places and now we're gonna tell it hey you know what dude get your act straight because this is a city i'm gonna turn this one off what is the location type in this case well it is city place and what country is it the country of freedom united states of america in ours what is the administrative level one state right administrative level two is county the reason you do this is because of course i think that there could be a couple of cities with the same names in different um, in different states different counties and stuff you're telling click that hey when you drill down i want it to be in that particular county that i'm looking at so now the first level that is administrative area level one is state number two is county good same drill again we could make this by dimension of course, you're going to change this, right? Because whenever you use a map, you're not going to have the colors based on different dimensions. It's it's pretty nice to have colors based on your measures. So it's easy to see, oh, okay, what's really happening. So, but this is just a little demo of how the mapping could work. And then, of course, you can add your sales. You can add your, I don't know, uh, customers, the number of customers you have, returning customers, and so on as your measure and make that your color dimension on the map. And that's that'll give a super nice visual representation of what's really happening in different regions in the in your business right so now again last thing options show show legend i'm just going to say show the label drill down in this case it is just city all right let's see if it works map over here let's look at california what's happening and californication we see the different regions good and then we click on the region and we see the different cities here Really, really cool, right? I'm going to do another video where we're going to upload our own custom KML file and build some cool stuff. And also a new section in, in my course is going to be about the different cool things that you can do and make maps super interactive. It's going to be really cool. Check out the link in the description below. Have fun mapping. It's going to be great. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Peace.